Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Realty Mogul and Fundrise. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their minimum investment amounts. It is the norm for real estate investing companies to require initial capital from their clients. And this is where Realty Mogul and Fundrise differ greatly. While Fundrise has a minimum investment amount of $10, Realty Mogul requires at least $5,000 for rights and $25,000 for individual properties. Fundrise is, therefore, the more affordable option. Clientele Realty Mogul is best suited for investors with proper accreditation and experience in the field. Its clientele also must be financially capable of making large-sum investments, since it has a high minimum investment amount. With Fundrise, however, both beginners and accredited investors can use the platform and access its portfolios. Fundrise is, therefore, more diverse in its clientele. Plan Options Realty Mogul allows investments only through real estate investment trusts or rights or individual properties. Investors can also make customized portfolios and access a 1031 exchange platform if they have a high net worth. On the other hand, Fundrise has five portfolios for clients to choose from. Starter, Basic, Core, Advanced, and Premium, which are customized to suit different levels of expertise. This makes Fundrise the more flexible real estate investment company, since it offers more plan options to beginners. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they do. Both Realty Mogul and Fundrise offer services in all 50 American states and have self-directed individual retirement account or IRA availability. Additionally, both companies have great security features including encryption, real-time monitoring, and fraud detection software. To sum up, which is better, Realty Mogul or Fundrise? All in all, my time investing with Realty Mogul was enjoyable, since it had great alternatives for accredited investors like myself. While the initial investment capital needed with this company was high, I was assured of favorable returns and dividends. However, Fundrise had more diverse plans and portfolios for accredited and non-accredited investors. I also love how low its minimum investment requirement is, which makes it more flexible. For these reasons, I therefore pick Fundrise as the overall winner. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.